Hello friends and once again welcome to phpsolutions.com. My name is Amit and in today's webinar I'm going to show you how project financial planning works. In order to demonstrate this, I have created one scenario. In this scenario, we are going to add new contract project and associate all the expenses and revenue with the project. So this is a series of learning from Oracle Enterprise Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service. So let's get started. This is a hands-on session. So in today's example, we are going to add new contract project. So according to Oracle documentation, manage revenue generating project. And there are three types of project, time and material based, fixed price and cost plus project. In today's example, I'm going to use a fixed price project. So here is a story. So one of my client wanted a sales activity to be performed for competitive analysis. They want competitive analysis and therefore they want to hire one sales analyst. And this is fixed price project. So they fix the price. The fixed price is 10,000 USD. This is a one month project. Project duration is one month. Uh, duration is one month, right? And the kind of cost we have or expenses, project expenses, because we are hiring a sales analyst. Therefore, project expenses comes under a category called labor expense. Your project can have material, labor, and equipment expenses, but the example we are considering, it requires only project expenses, uh, labor expenses. Let's get started. So you all, as always, you log in with your Enterprise planning, you find all the four modules. I taught in the previous sessions how to configure project module. Let's open when you click on project module. Uh, you click on project summary. Step one, I'm going to add new project. And then subsequently, we associate all the assumptions and expenses. So in our example, this is fixed price, 10,000 I would be receiving and I need to execute my project within that price. So step one, I'm going to add new project. This is contract fixed price, fixed price project. So let's get started. There's an option called action under project details. You add new project. And this project, I name it as data collection. And this is one month project. This is data collection for competitive analysis. And then I put a start date and end date. So this is one month project duration. Start from 1st of January, FI 18 to 31st of January for the sake of simplicity. And we can easily calculate and understand how calculation take place. I took only for one month. And this is fixed price and the revenue is recognized on monthly basis and my cash stagger is same month so when your bill got materialized one you pay your request for one month before two months before or one month two months three months later so sometime your bill get recognized 45 days later so that is what you define over here cash stagger you find the same information in the capex planning as well under cash flow click on launch a new project to be added now I'm going to associate an assumption with this project. So in this project, we have an expense, labor expense. But before that, the moment you add a project, the status is project status is new. I need to convert this project status from new to approved, right? The project should be approved. So let's change. You can use a smart view over here, data collection, new project, turn it from new to approved. So there are various status, new, approve, active. I say it approved directly. You could make it active and then approve in turn. So we define all the project detail. Now I'm going to define an assumptions, project assumptions, right? And then subsequently we associate an expenses. So this project has got various type of expenses. It can have overhead expenses, labor, equipments, uh, labor equipments and machineries. In our example, we have only labor expenses or so defined standard rate for labor. 
in this project we are going to hire a sales uh, sales analyst sales analyst right sales operation analyst this is a job role and this job we created in workforce planning we uploaded this dimension and the billing rates are 40 dollar per hour for on-site and offshore port so you see the standard per hour billing rate for fi 18 on-site and offshore i put it over here 40 and save it so let's write it over here 40 dollar per hour multiply by number of working hours so number of working hours you defined over here under assumption called working days and hours so in the example i assume we have got 22 days in a given month and there are eight hours in a day so when you finally calculate this this is what you find it should be 7040 so it is 22 into 8 into 40 this is going to be my expense right and this is more what my customer is paying to me so i still in a profit let's this is going to be calculated by your enterprise planning financial module go to expenses and there we can associate this employee with the project and calculate expense right so go to expense uh, we have defined the standard rate for the project and let's associate this project with the sales executive on the labor expense select your project under assumption this is contract project you can search the project as well alternatively fixed price and this is a data collection project now we associate the type of expenses assume the project stage is or phase is research phase this is optional not mandatory job assumption you define uh, this is sales analyst and we already defined sales analyst for our expenses right so let's associate sales analyst this all jobs are coming from a job dimension i'm going to search it sales operation analyst right and this is one full time and this is one month engagement right so employee resources and you can define the time over here this sales analyst i'm going to hire john patrick as a sales analyst and define a start and end of this project duration so 1st january to 31st january it would be easy for us to calculate and this is going to be for our month fi18 we have assumption data for fi18 only right that's it click on save and now you can calculate expenses let's calculate expenses and now you can see value in your dashboard click on action and calculate expenses next i'm going to calculate uh, i'm going to direct input my revenue so i associate employee with project and followed by this i calculate expenses and then i'm going to do a direct data input direct input of revenue right which is ten thousand the calculate expense takes little time and once the calculation took place, you can see the your dashboard got populated. Right, this is our calculation. See this? So total expense is 7040. Right, number of working hours is 176, and direct expense is 7040. We don't have any revenue ex element over here, so we go to revenue part, and then we do a direct revenue. In data collection, all the value is showing as negative because we don't have any revenue part. So go to direct input. You could have calculated revenue based on driver as well. In this example, I wanted to make a direct input. 
So direct input is a labor the types of revenue is a labor revenue, right? Naturally, we are getting money as a consulting the source consulting activity. So I select a uh, type of revenue contract contract revenue as labor and this is a one month project and therefore this is only january month data so i select january month and input direct input of the revenue this is 10000 right followed by this you calculate your revenue direct input revenue and calculate revenue calculate revenues now your summary uh, project summary gets populated you can see the difference between revenue and expenses and other kpis so now you have a revenue part okay your total revenue is 10000 your margin percent 42.05 and when you subtract 10,000 minus 7040, 7040, you get 2960, right? This is what your project profitability and project cash flow. Go to the project summary. There you can find various KPI value as well. So you can see expenses and revenue under project summary. Contact project overview, and you can see the neat detail information data collection, contract project overview and variances. Select your project data collection, name of your project. And you see your total investment, which is 7040, your ROI 42.05, benefit cost percentage 1.40, and payback period is 0 0.08. And here it is. In this example, we use only labor expenses. In a subsequent example, I show you labor and other type of expenses, machineries and equipment expenses as well. So that's it for today. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us. Our site is bhpsolution.com. We are expert into Oracle EPM solution implementation. Thank you.